guys, and welcome to the family fudge. We're headed to Costco. Come along with us. We just got back from our trip to Georgia yesterday, and we've all been really tired, and I feel like I'm fighting a cold. So I definitely want to pick up lots of fruits and vegetables, things to help us feel healthy. There's things I want to pick up for some lunches and some other recipes that I hope to make this week. And I have to say, it's a lot less humid here than it was in Georgia. And I'm kind of a fan of that. We made it to Costco! What are the rules, you guys? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, no being weird, no falling over. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go! Woo. They have so many now, and they're different. Did you find Jack? I like this one. An army guy? Cool. What'd you find, Kenzie? Descendants. Ooh, cute. What'd you find, Lily? I wanna be oh. this family. The Incredibles? Yeah. I love it. Super cute. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? I do not know, but it's not creepy. It's creepy. Oh my gosh. We have Elena that is so scary. What do you no, think? Should we get should we that's get that? What, that's what we I should? Like. So this year they have Rapunzel and Belle. They have Elena. They have a witch. They have a mermaid. They have a pirate. They have descendants. Here's a new one. It's a JoJo costume. Look at that, Kenzie. <laughs> Do you think that's cool? Yeah, I just spot. Ooh, so sparkly. Yeah. They have a green fairy, a pink fairy, and they only have one of this unicorn one. They have the Incredibles. Lily wants this one, but they don't have their size. They don't have her size. They have Moana, which is almost sold out. There's Ariel. And in the boys, they have the ninja, the pirate, the astronaut. Whatever this black thing is, I'm not quite sure. They have That's a police. The What's the black one? Black. Oh, oh, it's Batman. It looked like it looked like Batman. Yeah, it did. They have a police guy, an army guy, a fire guy, Chewbacca. They have a stormtrooper. They have Batgirl. Oh, there's another JoJo costume. She must be really popular because I've only seen two. We have a Harlequin, Harley Quinn girl. One of my favorites, Wonder Woman. So many cute costumes this year, and these are between $16 to $24. Is he scary? <laughs> What'd you find? This. We should hang this on our door for Halloween. On our door? That is so pretty. I love that one. It's only $19.99. That's not too bad. This giant jack lantern's only $24.99. Okay, we've been at Costco for like half an hour and we've only looked at Halloween costumes. Everyone's decided what they want to be, but this store doesn't have their size. So hopefully we'll go to another Costco tomorrow or maybe order them online. I'm definitely excited to see these in the store. You know, we lost Griffin's backpack on the way back from Atlanta and it had his water bottle in there. So we're gonna pick up a new one today. We're back home now and here's what we got. Do you wanna tell us your favorite item? Yeah. What is it? Chocolate milk. Ooh, chocolate milk with the Incredibles on it. Pretty cool. Do you want to know what my favorite item is? Yeah. It's this. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's, it's a bracelet. It's a Mickey Mouse watch. Isn't that cute? Yeah. It has little charms on it. I got this at Walmart. I was looking at something very similar at Disneyland the last time I was there, and it was like $45. So I got this today. 
And now on to the rest of the haul. Today we ended up going just to Costco and to Walmart. And so after we left Costco, my husband dropped me off at Walmart and he took the kids and they filled up the car with gas at Costco. It's a really good price there. I think all together we spent about $400, but we did get a lot of non-food items and we did get one Halloween costume already. So I'll go ahead and start with the things from Costco and I'll show you the non-food items first. I did let the kids each pick out a book on this trip. I really want to encourage them to read as much as possible. So Jackson picked up this superhero book and this is great because it's a level one, perfect for him. And then Mackenzie picked out this double pack. These are Descendants, so there's that one, and then there's that one, and then Lily picked out this Alphabet ABC book, and this is a Write and Erase book. So she's practicing her letter. She was really excited to get this, and I hope she uses it a lot. We didn't find a book for Griffin on this trip, but maybe next time. Also from Costco, I picked out a new pair of shoes. These were $24.99 and these are the Puma Soft Foam uh, brand. And these are basically um, gray slip-on shoes. They're very much like Skechers. They have that memory foam in there, which I really like. And I'm hoping that these are gonna be great for doing a lot of walking. My husband also picked out two new shirts while we were there. These are really heavy duty flannel, so I don't think he's gonna to wanna to wear these now. It's still kind of hot, but when the fall weather starts, this is gonna be perfect. These were only $9.99 each. We also picked up a double pack of the Contigo Cups. If you guys saw my vlog from yesterday where we were flying home from Georgia, you'll know that we lost Griffin's backpack through the security line and in the backpack was his water bottle. So I was glad to find these at Costco still and they were only $9.99 for the double pack. So we were able to replace his cup. And now we also have a spare as well. Also from Costco, we got a big thing of water, which usually means that we are traveling, and yes, we are traveling again. The kids aren't starting back at school until after Labor Day, so they're gonna come along with me on a work trip down to LA next week. So we wanted to bring some of our own water because to me, LA water does not taste the greatest. We also got some vitamin C packets. I've been fighting a cold, like I said, so hopefully this will fix me right up. And then we also got some Ziploc bags. Now moving on to the food items. Oh, wait a minute, I have one more non-food item from Costco, and that is Mackenzie's Halloween costume. The other kids did not decide today. They didn't have the sizes that we were looking for, so we're definitely gonna go back or maybe check online because sometimes with Costco costumes, they go quickly. So Mackenzie picked out this Descendants 2 costume and this one's called Uma. Now I have to say I've never watched Descendants, but it's Disney, so I probably would love it. So there we are, her Halloween costume this year. Unless it doesn't fit, and then we'll be taking it back. And now on to the food items. I really tried to pick lots of fruits and vegetables this time, starting with a watermelon. This was $4.99. We also got a big thing of broccoli and a big thing of cauliflower, lots of celery and some cucumbers. I'll be throwing those into lunches for sure. Now for me, I'm really excited about the baby spinach. I love making spinach salads, and I love to top my salads with this Japanese miso dressing. It is so, so yummy. I also picked up some holy guacamole, and this is pre-made organic guacamole. This was $9.99 for three pounds of guacamole, so it's a really good deal. If I was to buy the avocados, they wouldn't make this much. And you guys, you, this comes in two, two? This comes in three containers, so you can actually freeze these containers for a later date so they won't go bad. Back over here, I picked up this box of the vegetable tikka masala. I'm super excited to give these a try. I'm a fan of just about any type of Indian food, and these are really convenient little pouches. You can heat them in one minute for a quick lunch, and they're vegetarian and gluten-free, so even my husband can enjoy these. Under that, I also got my almond milk, a big bunch of bananas, some turkey sausage. These are gonna be very handy in the morning, especially when school starts. 
I got a big bag of apples. And of course, I love these ones because they're the Mickey apples. These, these are so cute. And this big bag was only like $4.99. So for organic apples, it's pretty good. I also got some new salami to try for lunches. This is the organic, uncured, dry salami. So hopefully it will be good. We also got some of this ham. This is the Hillshire Farms Naturals. This was on sale this week for only like $6.49. So that's a pretty good deal. We also got some of these unsalted mixed nuts. My husband picked out those. And then all the kids love this pineapple sausage. So you get three packs. It's not too expensive and the whole family loves it. And speaking of pineapple, we also got the teriyaki and pineapple meatballs. These are great. I like to keep these in the freezer so I can pull them out when I need a quick dinner. They're excellent for that. Over here, I picked up a double pack of the uncooked tortillas. Now I'll actually take one of these packages and stick it in the freezer. The trick is that you really have to let them defrost all the way before you try to use them. But these ones are great. I love the ones that you cook yourself. They are so tasty and fresh. We also picked up a rotisserie chicken, and then I got two bags of this organic pancake mix. This was only like $4.97 for this big bag, and this big bag is supposed to make like 100 pancakes or 100 waffles, so I think one bag I'm gonna turn into freezer waffles, and the other bag's gonna be turned into freezer pancakes, so we'll be all set when school starts. Back over here, I got some croissants. These are gonna be for breakfast sandwiches when we're on the road. And then I got my kids' favorite chicken nuggets. They're pretty picky about their chicken nuggets. They like these kind. This is the um, Panko chicken. And they like the kind that's gluten-free from Trader Joe's. But right now, this huge bag is only like $7.99. So these will stay good in the freezer for a long time. Also from Costco, I picked up this package of ciabatta bowl bowls. Ciabatta rolls, I can talk. I don't, you're, oh gosh, I can't talk. I don't normally buy these, but they were sampling them um, with the cheese and the avocado and the ham and the kids really like them. So I think what I'll probably do is freeze half of the bag because then they won't go bad so quickly because I probably won't be eating any and my husband probably won't be eating any. So, but they are pretty tasty. We also got some sliced cheese. This is new for us. I haven't purchased this one before. This is actually four different kinds. There's Swiss and cheddar and Colby Jack and Monterey Jack cheese. So a little bit of everything in there. Perfect for lunches. And then we've got our favorite Havarti as well. This one melts so nice. It's very tasty. Now that is everything from Costco. Let me show you what I got from Walmart. Starting with this delicious caramel popcorn. No, this is not on the diet plan, but we do have a long drive to LA. It takes about five hours for us to drive there. So I'm thinking that my husband and I might snack on this because it's delicious. We will be spending two nights in LA and instead of eating out and spending a lot of money, we're just gonna bring these for the adults. So my husband and I will have this kind. This is the Amy's brand uh, Chili Reno bowl. It is really good. It's gluten free. And we also picked up this Indian, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, Matar Paneer. You have to let me know if that's, if that's right. But this is basically curried peas with cheese and rice and tomatoes. It's really good. So these are really tasty and they're easy to heat up in a hotel room. We'll just keep them in the fridge in the hotel and they'll be perfect. Oh, and by the way, I personally know Amy of the Amy's brand and she is super nice. Moving back over here, I got some string cheese and I specifically picked out these ones because it has the Incredibles on there. Love my Disney food. I also got some of this Jif to go. This is the natural peanut butter in these little cups. So we'll definitely take these when we're traveling and they're perfect to dip carrots crackers, celery, and apple slices. I know the kids will be happy to see this. We got some of the peach kefir for my husband, and my kids prefer the yogurt in the tubes. These are the yogurt um, simple ones, so there's not as much sugar and dyes and that kind of stuff in there. Of course, we have Lily's favorite. This is the uh, low-fat chocolate milk with the Incredibles on there as well. We got some Mickey waffles. These are so fun. They also have Minion waffles and they also have Star Wars waffles. These are so cute. 
And then these guys looked really interesting. I have no idea if they're gonna be good or not. These are frozen melon balls. So I found these in the section where you would find like smoothie packs and things like that. So there's honeydew and cantaloupe, no sugar added. You're supposed to defrost them and then add them to, you know, fruit salad and things like that. And this whole bag was only like $2. So if I was to buy honeydew and buy a cantaloupe, it would probably be more than $2. At least where I'm from. Back over here, I also got a big container of the red seedless grapes, and then I got a big bag of the cuties. The cuties are perfect um, for traveling because they're not really messy. The kids can peel them themselves, and it's a yummy, healthy snack for in the car. And then of course, I showed you the watch already, and there is one more item, but instead of showing it to you on the table, I'm wearing it right now. I picked up this really cute shirt. It has Stitch from Lilo and Stitch on there, and it's actually a tank top, but I prefer shirts with sleeves, so I have a little sweater on top of it. And I actually found this in the juniors section. I find a lot of my cute stuff, especially Disney stuff, in the juniors section. So it's really fun, and I just love Lilo and Stitch. It's so cute. Thanks for watching. See you next time.